seven people all charged with murdering a 20-year-old mother from Jasper. This is brutal guys this is like this is next level um mayhem mayhem and you know what's funny once again the media is accountable to what's going on when it comes to this story right here the, I, I hold the media 100 percent accountable for the fact that this story is not going worldwide with what happened to this alabama mother who was 20 years old who was brutalized brutalized and killed by eight individuals that were all black and the reason they don't want to show it is because the individuals who killed her were black because if it was a white individual or if it was a white cop it would be all over the fucking news but no no we can't show it we can't show it because it was black individuals that killed this young black woman. These seven people all charged with murdering a 20 year old mother from Jasper. Someone found Mahogany Jackson's body on Monday in Birmingham after she had texted a family member that she had been kidnapped. Our Bria Chapman was at a press conference held by Birmingham police this evening. The chief not mincing his words when discussing this case. Scott Thurman describing the murder of Mahogany Jackson as disgusting and one of the most heinous crimes that he the crime was so heinous because I'm I'm gonna tell you I'm I'm gonna tell you guys this okay, and I'm gonna tell it to my my young individuals out there. And I hate to say it because obviously you're gonna have to leave your heart open to some people. You're gonna at least have to have at least a handful of friends that you can definitely trust. But there are people out there who say they're your friends and they're not your friends. There are people out there that, that, that say they're proud of you, but they're only around to see you fall. That's, all, that's the only reason. They say that they're your friends, but they're around only and waiting to see you fall. When you're rising up and winning, they're cheering in the open, but they're crying underneath. Wait impatiently till the day you fall. That's when they'll be the most happy. Do not trust everyone, people, and keep your circle really small. Because this young lady trusted these individuals who invited her. And she went thinking that these people were her friends. And what they did to her was so heinous. These people deserve the damn chair. I don't care how young they are. They deserve the chair. There's some, sometimes I'd be thinking, and this is my personal opinion. I don't know what you guys think. Sometimes I do believe that this country is too free. It is too free. I don't know if you guys ever thought about that. I don't know if you guys ever even gave it a thought. That this country is too free. Because if this happened in any other country, those people would be beheaded. It, 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 Beheaded, hands chopped off, everything. And that would discourage a lot of people by, uh, from committing the same heinous crime. Sometimes I really do think this country is too free. And I, and I don't want to um, take away from the individuals, the brave individuals who fought for our freedom. God bless them. Thank you for everything you guys have done. But sometimes I be thinking that. <sighs> oh, let's continue he's seen throughout his career and not only was Jackson shot and killed she was also sexually assaulted by multiple people now there are seven people under arrest facing charges for felony and capital murder and also kidnapping and Chief Thurman says all of the suspects were acquaintances of the victim and not only was she tortured to death some of these horrific acts were recorded by those suspects recorded Rick you sons of bitches recorded so you guys enjoyed what you guys were doing to her you guys recorded each and every one of you brutalizing this young lady 
and there were three females. It looks like two, but all three of them look like men. So who knows? But the fact that they recorded the heinous crime. For what? For what? Why did you record it? You're only going to be exposed because the minute you record it, it, it's out there in the cloud. Somebody was going to see it and report you guys. Why would you record such a thing? Not only are these freaking criminals, they're idiots. Do not trust everyone, people. My youngsters out there, my young ladies out there, don't, do not trust everyone. It's not worth your life. It's not worth your life. Because look at what happened to this young lady who was a mother. I don't care what provoked them to doing this crime. I don't care if she somehow cheated on one of those guys. I don't know what happened, but she did not deserve such a death. Not only was she promised, not only was she promised freedom if she allowed them access to her phone. They lied to her after she, she allowed them to have access to her phone. And then tortured her. And then sexualized her, brutalized her, and then killed her. Not only that, they dragged her through the streets naked, people. Let's continue. Facts of this case are deplorable and sickening. Saddest of all, they were made public by the suspect's decision to videotape portions of this horrific act. We hope to shield Mahogany's family and friends by withholding specific facts surrounding the investigation. However, we have determined that Mahogany was a victim of sexual assault with murder and kidnapping. There's videos of some of these heinous acts taking place, and that's something that led, uh, was a pivotal piece of the investigation. And with seven arrests in 48 hours, Chief Scott Thurman is commending the people of Birmingham, saying that you all answered the call, and now these suspects will await their day in court. I want them to get the death penalty. And I know people are going to say they should just rot in jail. It's even worse. No, I want them obliterated. Fatality, Mortal Kombat. I want them done. And where's Al Sharpton, huh? Where's Reverend Jackson, huh? Where's Black Lives Matters, huh? Where's all these pastors that come out the woodwork when a white individual harms a black individual? You know why they come out when there's someone white or a cop or whatever the case? It's because money is involved. They're going to get paid for it. So they want to come out. Be some type of symbol of leadership. Towards the white people that are so mean to them. God forbid it's black individuals causing a the crime. They don't want to come out at all. You don't see none of the reverends coming out. None of the pastors coming out. You don't see any of them coming out. You don't see the view talking about this at all. If this was a white individual or a white cop that did this to this young lady, it would have been all over the news. The view would have been talking about it. Reverends would have been coming out with their Bibles, reading Psalms chapter 100. They would have been reading the freaking verses of Genesis. They would have been even telling the stories of Ezekiel. They would have been preaching to the whole mighty God in every single language, even French, the Hebrew. They would have been freaking speaking in tongues. Oh, my God. You don't see none of them now, though, when they found out it was black individuals that committed this crime. You don't see any of them now. At all. If this crime was committed by a white individual to this mother of 20 years old, you would have seen every reverend, including Reverend Jackson, Al Sharpton, The View speaking about it, a.k.a. Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg and her chicken hens in that show. This would have been publicized everywhere in the news. But the fact that it was black individuals that killed this woman. You don't hear a peep from the media. You don't hear a peep from the reverend you don't hear a peep from the pastor you don't hear a peep from Whoopi Goldberg in the view none of it now you tell me that Hollywood and the media don't have some sort of agenda going on and they arrested the eight individuals why are people still not talking about this 
The crime was so heinous that people should be talking about it. Let me know what you guys think. A large criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know.